Hello, how is everybody doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day thus far. I just want to welcome you to the Counselor's Kitchen Table podcast, a uh, spinoff of the Counselor's Kitchen uh, episodes on Facebook Live, where we do all of our cooking. And at this point, we're going to do all of our talking. And uh, so we're going to sit down, we're at the table, and uh, we're going to have a good table talk conversation, okay? And uh, I have my special guest here, my bishop and pastor, Dr. Uh, Michael Forney with me and we're just going to chop it up and, and discuss some things um, as far as what it means to build a healthy relationship. Bless God. Bless right. God. Well, let's let's say this. This is how the uh, the show is structured. And so we have three different segments. One is well for starters. That's where we explore a word of the day uh, that relates to our topic. Food for thought. Uh, that is where we just kind of break down uh, the meat if you will if you so to speak the meat of the topic itself mm -hmm. and then uh the takeaway is where you get to take the take out if you will um some things and some challenges and, and some places and areas that you can put into application right away for Amen. the next seven days Amen. so uh these are just the 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 outline and the format of the show and for all my listening uh pleasures out there we have free game production uh, who is in charge of producing our wonderful set today. So uh, that's Deonza Albright. You can find her on Instagram at Free Game Productions. Okay? All right. So let's get into these starters on today. We're talking about relationships. Yes, yes. And um, the Wait. definition, if you will, uh, it says the way in which two or more uh, concepts, objects, or people are connected or the state of being connected. The second definition says the way in which two or more people or groups regard and behave toward each other. Let's break this down. Yeah, relationships um, in itself are are so didactic and 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 all all also mysterious um, because depending on what's in relationship, right. Uh, uh, then you have your different dynamic of how that fits together mm -hmm. or not. Right. Because you can have a relationship mm -hmm. that does not allow the interaction. It actually opposes the interaction, which Absolutely. is relational in itself. So, right. So we have to be mindful of what we perceive as relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and then what, what the Lord asks us to do is, is uh, make sure we have healthy relationship. Right. Absolutely. Because any old relationship uh, won't allow you to stay in in choosing the right relationship. Mm -hmm. So, so, uh, so, so in that way, the idea of relationships is is something to be considered quite mm -hmm. seriously. Quite yeah, seriously, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to make it clear, we are talking about general relationships. Uh, there's not speci we're not specifically diving into any one type mm -hmm. or romantic or family or whatever. This is just a generalization of relationships, but they're very important. Uh, we'll talk about the, the quote in just a second. But um, some words that come to mind are connection, yes. uh, behavior. That's something that I've seen come through mm -hmm. the, uh, the definition. Absolutely. Uh, and, and, and what I'm seeing is it seems that there has to be a purpose within the relationships. Mm -hmm. Relationships don't just form purposelessly. Right. And so uh, there's always a purpose and, and, and the part I like it says the way mm -hmm. in which two or more people behave. So there's a way their gotcha. relationships are to function, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so that's that's some, those are just some things that, that stand out to me. Any other any other thought process about maybe some of those words or anything that stands out to you? Uh, the, this word behavior mm -hmm. uh, is, is, is a learned concept we, we Absolutely. our behavior is comes from from what it is that we've been shown we've been taught uh, that has been shown as examples before us and so when we're talking about behaviors mm -hmm. we have to understand that everybody have their own set of behaviors Correct. Uh, I believe and, and, that. and what we what we call that when, when we look at it from a psychological or uh, 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 point of view and, mm -hmm. and looking at it from a mental state is we call that your your frame of reference yes uh, or, or your your crayon box mm -hmm. if you will and and the thing about the crayon box um, is that you can't use anything that's not in the box in the box right and but but what's in the box is things that have been put in the box mm -hmm. along your journey 
Gotcha. And, and so now I, I gravitate to that which I've been shown. Mm -hmm. I gravitate to that which I've been taught. I gravitate to that which has been attractive for me. Right. And I pick that up and now I turn and I disciple what it is that, that I've been, yes. uh, uh, that my own behavior. Right, right. And so we have to be careful of how we look at, mm -hmm. at the relationship because mm -hmm. if if any relationship means me no good mm -hmm. uh, then then understand then then I'm also will turn and disciple yes. that no good if especially if I'm attracted mm -hmm. to it so so relationships are mysterious yes uh, so you have to enter into a relationship with wisdom mm -hmm. and that's that's something I, I think is 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 notable on, yes. on this discussion Absolutely. Uh, and then uh, you go and say it have purpose mm -hmm. Well, uh, our purpose is rooted uh, yes. and contingent. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, we we uh, will put salvation clumped in with destiny call. Okay. But destiny call uh, it, it succeeds salvation. You, okay. Salvation is a choice. Mm -hmm. I, I choose God. Yes. I, I accept God, mm -hmm. and, and 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 that He is sent. Uh, uh, a savior, a messiah right. for my behalf, but right. but but in this regard, we we have to understand that that uh, that God has saying, "I predestined you," mm -hmm. but but he you you only can get to that purpose or yes. that that destiny call mm -hmm. after you've chosen God, after and the after you after the choice mm -hmm. to make that relationship right uh, straight, to make that relationship straight, and so so when we talk about relationships. Um, we we first have to be nurtured in relationships, and of mm -hmm. course, this is why I would lift up uh, uh, the supreme being of the universe, mm -hmm. the central Absolutely. theme of everything that Absolutely. that that we learn relationship mm -hmm. from God. So that was a good revelation for me just a, a few days ago. Okay, that uh, that God Himself deems and holds esteem to relationships so highly yeah, that yeah. it is that He mandates it in order for you to. Uh, exist with him. You uh -huh. have to be in relationship with gotcha, him, right? Gotcha. And so relationships have such an importance to God that he yeah. that not only did he establish that uh -huh. in and of our connection to him, meaning mm -hmm. we got to be in relationship, gotcha, gotcha. but he established that on the earth. Absolutely. By, of course, when Adam was here, yeah. he said, you need a relationship. You need a relationship. You need it, a relationship yeah. to function. Yeah, it, it's, it's not good uh -huh. yeah, for, for man, man to, be to be alone. So, um, that, that's awesome. So, we're going to move on into the segment Amen. called Food for Thought. So Amen. You, we've broken down relationships as, they, as it is, uh, as it stands as a word. But uh, let's just dive a little, because we're already starting to get deep. Let's just dive a little deeper into the meat, okay? <laughs> uh, so... I heard a quote that changed my life uh, okay. not too long ago, and it said that relationships uh, are the greatest form of wealth. Okay. Uh, and that just kind of speaks to a little bit of what I what I just said about how God esteems relationships Amen. because we got to have one with Him Amen. in order for us to exist with Him. Uh, so uh, relationships being um, the greatest form of wealth, and here's why I think that all relationships are important. Mm -hmm. Um, they yield some type of uh, energy. They yield some type of treasure gotcha. that it is that we either don't have in and of ourselves mm -hmm. or it ignites something that we already have in ourselves gotcha. and wakes it up a little bit, our right. conscious right. man, right? And so because of that, oftentimes we neglect um, the purpose of the function of a relationship mm -hmm. because uh, we, we dwell on negative relationships. Mm -hmm. And so, I, for example... You may be in a negative relationship, a toxic relationship, whatever, a romantic relationship, mm -hmm. and God will use that to teach you something. Yeah, yeah. But oftentimes we repeat the same relationships because we're looking at the person, we're looking at the messenger, we're okay. looking at the deliverer and not the delivery. Mm -hmm. we're, we're looking at the, the person and not the lesson. Okay. Of what's being taught, and so oftentimes we don't extract what we need from that relationship okay. to build and to become better, to 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 nurture ourselves, gotcha. and then we're neglecting it because of who it was right. that was teaching that God mm -hmm. was using to teach. Gotcha. Uh, so then we repeat relationships, right. and that's where this thing comes from of being the same, being in the same same. Uh, uh, same space, different face, okay. and that sort of thing. Right. That's where that comes from, mm -hmm. I believe, because it is that we neglect relationships based off of the lesson and who it is that's teaching us or who it is God's using mm -hmm. to teach us. And so I think that it does us better when we look at relationships for what they are. Because, again, like I said, oftentimes either they're igniting something in us mm -hmm. that's, that's dormant or 
there's a deposit that needs to be made. Right, right. And and oftentimes we don't get the deposit because we. Yeah, we're we're pushing back. Yeah, we're pushing back. Uh, on who did what. Not able to discern if it's of of of, of God, of God yeah. uh, and it was sent to me mm -hmm. as a help to me. Yeah. Uh, because I'm in the way. Mm -hmm. And and so absolutely, you you you're you're on the the post of why many of us mm -hmm. cannot get ahead. Right. Because the relationships that mm -hmm. God sends, and remember, He blesses us through <coughs> relationships. Mm -hmm. He tells us. That uh, that men will give unto your bosom, mm -hmm. and so if if we take and understand what that means, he also tells us that our gifts will make room for us and place us before great men. Mm -hmm. And so in the way of that, he's saying, "I'm placing you strategically right. in places mm -hmm. to build relationship, relationship because yeah. my intent is to bless you." Through the relationship. Through the relationship. Yeah. yeah. But but if you're so esoteric, mm -hmm. which means you have so much reservation yeah. uh, from out of your frame of reference, mm -hmm. your 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 what do we call mm -hmm. it? Uh, um, we didn't say toolbox, did we? Crayon uh, a crayon box mm -hmm. uh, because you are so inundated with the things in the crayon box right. that you can only be consumed with things that are topical yeah Good because point. crayons can't penetrate the paper it mm -hmm. only it puts its smear and color oh, on the paper uh -huh. it's topical it's esoteric mm -hmm. but God says I need you to go deeper yeah because I I'm, I've already ordained mm -hmm. these relationships. Yes. You, you even you you don't even have a, 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 the latitude to throw the relationship back oh, at me. Yeah. It's what I gave you to bless you. Yeah. It's the same way when I, I met my wife. Mm -hmm. uh, I knew that it was not just something uh, topical. Right. I knew it was so much more mm -hmm. to that relationship yeah. that God was bringing together. Yeah. I'm saying, Lord, what have you done? Mm -hmm. He says, He says, uh, 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 I have chosen yes. this for you. Mm -hmm. And I say, oh my God, but that's because of this relationship yes. that you're able it's to see mm -hmm. and this. And so in that, you're able to discern what comes in your, uh, mm -hmm. if it's right for you, yeah. if it's if it's beneficial, if it's mm -hmm. encouraging. And those things, those yes. things, yes. Uh, uh, God uses in, in uh, your relationship building with others are beneficial to them mm -hmm. as well. So. So absolutely, man, that we, we must really begin to assess uh, uh, our purpose right. at, at, in that uh, and begin to walk walk therein. Uh, certainly necessary in this hour. Certainly yeah, that's necessary. awesome, awesome yeah. revelation. And so here are just some questions that I've received. Of course, we've done polls and things of that nature. Okay, okay. Uh, and so uh, what are some of the different types of relationship connections? Um, and just to think basic on a basic level, you know, you may have uh, a romantic relationship, yeah. you may have a work relationship, uh, but some of those, let's speak to some of those different types yeah, of relationships. Yeah, I, I, I believe that, that uh, of course, if we declare that we are children of the Most High, then mm -hmm. then everything we do should be done in love. He right. says, in all, of that you, in all that you do, do it in love. Mm -hmm. uh, do it as unto God. So right. do it in excellence. Mm -hmm. And so in our relationships, I should always approach them with love mm -hmm. because he says, love never fails. So right. even if there's evil, mm -hmm. On, on the other side of this relationship, even if there are things yes. that I have not uh, been able to put my pulse on, but I enter with the best defense mm -hmm. that I could I could right, operate in, right. which is love, mm -hmm. then then things that are set against me, snares that are set against me, fiery darts set against me, uh, uh, weapons mm -hmm. uh, set against me shall not prosper, but yes. they'll be exposed. Mm -hmm. So I'll be able to to identify those things in relationship mm -hmm. because God is with me. Mm -hmm. He allowed me to discern it and things that's not going to work in my behalf. Yeah. He'll expose them Absolutely. to me. Absolutely. Uh, and, and so uh, it works both ways. And that's a good point because uh, it's such a universal language. Yeah. Uh, love is. And, and that's something that can carry over. So even in the workplace, when you operate in, in love, mm -hmm. oftentimes that's the first place we we choose to, you know, to, discount to down. love. It's business yeah. only. Yeah, it's business only. Yeah, discount love. This but it'll is the job. Your whole, <laughs> yeah. Then uh, if, if it is that you operate as Absolutely. we do in a general setting. Absolutely. And so I think that that's a good way to, uh, to, to just look at, 
all relationships need mm-hmm. to be at least uh, connected by love. And Amen. if you are the love connect and the other person is not, then you have to at least endure that for a little while yeah. until you. But again, it doesn't matter if it's your job. It doesn't matter if it's your family. Yes. It doesn't matter if it's a business relationship. Absolutely. Do it in love. So that's a that's a great point. Love, um, love, Now love. here's Never another fails. question. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. Uh, how can we develop healthy relationships to create and gain wealthy relationships okay well here's the the thing about a relationship uh in relationships Mm -hmm. when it's a healthy relationship each part in the relationship is always um let me say willing Mm -hmm. to be a a a depositor Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, always giving, mm-hmm. always sowing seed. Yes, it's part of the love that they have mm-hmm. for their uh, the others in the relationship. Right. Uh, I and and of course, biblically, we can say uh, he, a man, uh, gave his only begotten yes. son. That that's that's the word of the Lord. Mm-hmm. And and then we come to find out <clears throat> that he did it in spite of yeah. us being. Uh, haters, mm-hmm. cheaters, liars, mm-hmm. stealers, uh, thieves, mm-hmm. and and transgressing against him. Yeah. He, he say even to to being uh, in a place of of, of of a harlot where you've mm-hmm. you've uh, uh, cheated and 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 claimed other other things to be yeah. your god. He mm-hmm. says, but yet I still, yeah. I still gave. Mm-hmm. I still gave to you. Yeah. I still deposited on your behalf. Yes. I still put some in, in in reserves for you. I still put some in the bank for mm-hmm. you for you to make uh, withdrawals from. Yes. And mm-hmm. and so 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 that person in the relationship mm-hmm. it becomes through love through yes. the love factor a giver. Mm-hmm. And so 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 that's how you you really begin to build that because you're able to tell mm-hmm. the the posture and and position of of everybody in the relationship yes. and 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 then uh, are, are able <coughs> in that regard as well to mm-hmm. hold everybody accountable right to to what it is we said we were in we were relationship doing, yeah. doing. Mm-hmm. and and that's part of being in, in, in loving uh, mm-hmm. uh, that's part of uh, of loving as well that right. I'm able to, to just hold you accountable mm-hmm. hold you and one of the words that uh, we stated earlier was connection and so uh, in order to have that connection oh and purpose we also talked a little bit about those those words and defining relationships mm-hmm. uh, purpose and connection those are two things that definitely I believe carry over uh, to help you build a, a healthy relationship okay because it's it's nothing like being in relationship with someone and again we're talking about general relationships yes, so yes. you can apply this however you need to to your romantic to your business mm-hmm. to your whatever but when you're in relationship and you've you've come into an agreement so okay that, that's the first part of relationship is there has to be an agreement mm-hmm. uh, but an what are we agreeing on yeah well we have to have then a goal set a gotcha. purpose set and so with with that being said, we come into this relationship and we have a goal, we have a purpose that we can walk in. And then, and of course, when you have those two things, mm-hmm. then a path has to be created. Gotcha. And so then... How do we like get the, to this? Right. Okay. And so like the Bible says, how do two people walk together unless they agree? Absolutely. Well, then, so, so I think it kind of trickles up a, a domino effect. But I think definitely the first and primary thing is, is we have to know what we're in agreement of gotcha. in that relationship. Right. And so, you know, you have policies and procedures that yeah. come across the work spe- workplace. Absolutely. This is what you said you would do right. upon being hired. This is what you said you were capable of doing right. upon being hired. Mm-hmm. And so... Those type of things, um, understanding that to the fullest, right. I think is how you get to the start of building a healthy relationship. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, I would, I, I'm doing with this this specific uh, podcast okay. and this specific episode about relationships is translating the understanding from a healthy relationship to a wealthy relationship. Okay, okay, okay. Because when we think about what wealth is, gotcha. wealth is generational. Uh-huh. Wealth is expansion. Gotcha. And so, um, as you were stating before about gifts making room for right. you to put you in front of great men uh-huh. and that sort of thing, right. those are uh, principles of the universe yeah. that God uh, has set in order. And gotcha. so it don't matter if you're a believer or not, mm-hmm. if you're exercising your gift correctly, right. it'll get you somewhere. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And so with that being said, with a, with a wealthy relationship, right. how do we allow these relationships to bless us yeah. from wealth to wealth to wealth? 
And so I think about people like uh, uh, Madam C.J. Walker. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Who just did her own thing. Right, she, right. She did her own thing, became a millionaire, became mm -hmm. wealthy, and then uh, turned and gave yeah. to those who needed the same opportunity. Mm -hmm. Because... You think about all these different things like Black Wall Street and just historically all these different things uh -huh, where you had uh -huh. to create your own wealth. Right. Well, all of that started with the connection. Gotcha. It's not what you knew. It's who you knew. It's who you knew. Okay. And so in that right and in that perspective, I think that you start to build wealthy relationships yeah. when it is, number one, you've operated in love. Gotcha. Number two, you've operated in purpose within the relationship. Okay. And number three, as you stated before, then you now have a, the opportunity to expand and to give that to someone yeah, else. Yeah. And I think that that, that helps develop the growth gotcha. into a wealthy gotcha. relationship. Gotcha. So, so, so in that, remember, when, you, when, when you're able to come before for great men mm -hmm. and, and you're already promised under the favor factor mm -hmm. that, 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 will, your, that this gift will make room for you. Right. And that men will also give unto mm -hmm. you. So so now you're learning a skill set yes. on how you built well, even mm -hmm. though you may not be driving. The Lord may be totally yeah. uh, 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 directing this mm -hmm. and you're just following. So so meaning bless God that you've learned how to submit. Mm -hmm. But but submission does not mean I grab all I can yes. and can all I get. Yes, uh, yes. Submission means that when I get it, mm -hmm. I master it mm -hmm. and turn and give, give it, it in the mm -hmm. form of discipleship. So, Absolutely. so if I'm going to build wealth and it doesn't have mm -hmm. to, it has nothing to do in this regard mm -hmm. to buy biology. Mm -hmm. It's not just bi biologicals right. that I'm I'm intending to bless, but mm -hmm. but generations of, yes. of of those behind me, I'm mm -hmm. intending to bless. So so I don't just uh, hoard it even <clears throat> just for my household. Mm -hmm. I have to understand that God mm -hmm. has so intent in the hierarchical structure mm -hmm. that that we be a blessing to those yeah. who are coming behind. Mm -hmm. We don't post to parch the land yeah. and and leave everything dried out mm -hmm. that the children cannot uh, plant and 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 we've never even taught them to do yeah. it in the first place, mm -hmm. so they can't continue feed themselves mm -hmm. but but it seems like that's where we're going mm -hmm. in the way relationships are today right that that we're not passing the baton of mm -hmm. knowledge on mm -hmm. and so we have a generation with a bunch of zeal yeah and and that zeal is failing us because they have zeal and a mm -hmm. will to do and energies to do it but no information no. And so, so you have to reach back to a old, mm -hmm. old uh, wisdom mindset yes. in order to get information mm -hmm. to match the zeal of this generation, so she can take off mm -hmm. and accomplish what God has established for for mm -hmm. her to accomplish in this hour. But, but that again, relationship from younger to older, mm -hmm. relationship from from uh, uh, from from sinner to God. You know, mm -hmm. we have to be mindful of those relationships uh, going everywhere, and the fact that that the the elder wants to be a blessing mm -hmm. uh, so that's a whole different yes. dynamic and mindset yeah. Yeah, and shifting uh, in our thought process mm -hmm. and and that's the the key I think to the difference between just a healthy relationship mm -hmm. between two right? yeah yeah because the, the first definition says you know two people and yeah. then it goes on to say or a group a or group. a concept so gotcha. how do we expand and and we're, we're not answering this but I'm just giving that uh interjecting okay, that, that, okay. that this is what we're talking about how it is that we expand our relationship because gotcha. I'm in relationship with Deion's Albright because we have a contract mm -hmm. this is free game productions yeah, yeah. and we've come together and we've come under a contract that I'm mm -hmm. going to be here and do my podcast here right Absolutely. But how do I expand that well this is how I'm expanding it because I have Dr. Forney in next week I may have somebody else in Amen. week after that I may have somebody else in and then they may need some studio you see what I'm saying so the expansion oh of the relationship is what what turning the healthy relationship into a wealthy relationship mm -hmm, is. That's mm -hmm. what that looks like when your relationship is expanded. And it's just like in a family setting. Uh, you know, two people come together. Eventually they ought to have some kids. And that's the expansion of their relationship. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Then yeah. Their kids begin to have kids. That's the expansion. That's a wealthy relationship. Amen. So, uh, Next question talks about how no, I already read that one. What are the must-have, the must-haves in all universal relationships? Now, I have three things, uh, and I can share them. Okay. If you have some different ones, or if you just want to expound, that's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
But for me, for a uh, universally, unilaterally healthy relationship, mm -hmm. number one thing for me would be effective communication. Okay. Uh, and understand that with effective communication, that means that not only what you're speaking, yeah. but the one that's listening. Mm -hmm. that communication has to be in that cycle. Intentional. And so it has to be effective. It has yeah. to be intentional. Uh, so that means with comprehension. With, absolutely. Um, and, and so I look at what my, uh, my job has done. They take what's called disc assessments. Okay. And what they do is they take, you know, your personality and all that kind of stuff. And it's uh, scientifically configured okay. into okay. how it is you best receive communication. Mm. Okay. And that blew my mind because that that um, that really helps. Okay. When it is that you go to your supervisor and yes. you can read his chart and know how he's best receiving uh -huh. communication. And that that allows you some next level communication because then it allows you to alter your right, communication right. based off of who you who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. I think we can be so one sided in, in the way that we communicate because we use our frame of reference yes. and we go by what we know. And oftentimes that's where miscommunication comes in because what comes out my mouth yes. and what lands in your ears mm -hmm. may be two totally different things. Wow. wow. When it is that we don't know how the person communicates, so whoever you you're in agreement with. I would, I would definitely challenge someone to take that kind of an aptitude mm -hmm. or, or disc assessment to understand how you best receive communication. Gotcha. Because gotcha. in that, I was what they call a, a high I. Okay. Which is an analytical state of mind. Okay. Uh, and so when it came to critique. Yes. Uh, critique is it just may not be my best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's the way it's being critiqued, right? Gotcha. And so. Uh, maybe for this person, yeah. instead of just saying you didn't or yeah. you missed the mark or you failed, or yes. you may say, hey, man, I found this video. Okay. And I think this video might help you better understand right. Visual what it is. is the way you get uh, it. Or, I'm, or I may have found this, uh, you know, this this reading or I whatever. You. I got you. But whatever it is, you give them something in their hand to yes. analyze so that that way they can pr receive and perceive right. what right. it is that you're saying, right? And so that's effective communication because it's easy to just say you you didn't do it, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy to just say you failed. Gotcha. But that don't work for everybody. And Absolutely. somebody you can just tell them that and they'll say, okay, let me do my own research yes. or how I. Yes. But but that needs to be effective in your communication. So that's number one for me. Mm -hmm. Number two is common goal, like we've been talking about. You got to have a purpose. Yeah. Uh, you definitely have to have a desire to to see that purpose through, and you have to have a commitment. Um, and, and and be committed to that purpose. Gotcha. And so number three is deliverable mm -hmm. trust and security. Yeah, yeah. Something you can deliver on. Uh, actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. We know it well. Yeah, yeah. But we don't want to make things, um, make promises, make assumptions, whatever that we cannot deliver that right. we can't see through. And so with that being said, we'll we'll talk about a um, a romantic relationship and and if someone's involved in a romantic relationship mm -hmm. and they have insecurities and they have things that that they are insecure about. Okay. As a as a as a person in that relationship, I have to consider that at all times right, and right. be able to deliver on what it is that right. they need. Mhm. Mm not so much so of what I want to do, right? But deliver on what they need until that trust is restored. Because the love allows you to compromise. Ex exactly, uh -huh. and it's compromised. But if if I'm saying I'm gonna call you, you know, or I'm gonna check in or whatever, and, whatever, and I go all day without communicating, yeah, yeah. you see what I'm saying? And somebody with that trust issue that that throws in a, yeah. a, a whole nother issue that we wow. have to deal with. So. So, like I said, your trust and your security needs to be deliverable. You need to be able to deliver what you say you're going to do. Yes. And that's the thing. If you have someone with an insecurity, don't promise. Even if that insecurity is is heavy on them, yes. if you can't deliver it, don't promise that. Amen. Compromise, as you, yeah. as you stated. Yeah. Yeah. And so, those are just three things I think build just universally healthy relationships and um, and, and that if you have Amen. anything else well, to well, add. The, uh, Of course, I've always been... A promoter of the communication, so mm -hmm. that that is the 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 sum total mm -hmm. of of where it all comes. Yes. With, where if it is that I can say a thing, mm -hmm. 
and you can understand it as it is that I'm saying it mm -hmm. and watch this and able to give it back to me because mm -hmm. that, that becomes the testing yes. that we're able to communicate mm -hmm. one to another uh, and, and not you get it, it stopped when you gather your mm -hmm. own understanding right. of what I just said only to go off and do something totally opposing what mm -hmm. it is I intended and so uh, you have, we have to learn how to communicate mm -hmm. it's not it's not always um going to be easily figured out and it's not just me saying a word mm -hmm. or the words and you're hearing them and understand what, what, what even my intention yes. on, or on what the words that I'm using means mm -hmm. may be different from what you receive as Perceive those same it, yeah. words mm -hmm. meaning so 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 we must learn mm -hmm. it's a learning experience yes. to 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 uh to communicate in the mm -hmm. relationship and that is foundational for yes. me so so bless God for, for those who would implement that as they are building and seeking to, to strengthen relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, this is a, a another question, uh, the last question. Okay. Uh, is it possible to receive character development within relationships, and how do we maximize it? And I think we've spoken to it a little bit. But yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, let me just go to the maximizing. The mm -hmm. maximizing comes from... From, from those who you trust mm -hmm. uh, uh, help fortify the relationship. Mm -hmm. Because in the confines of a relationship, there should also be uh, some covering mm -hmm. uh, in the way of agreement. And, 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 and again, uh, within that, let me just say, uh, and when a man and woman comes together, mm -hmm. uh, her father covers her and, mm -hmm. and his family covers him and together they culminate as yeah. to, to cover this this union mm -hmm. uh, it's the same way in any relationship e every relationship uh, has this inner workings mm -hmm. but but the Bible talks about a um, a three chord twain mm -hmm. uh, and and so the third chord is is always appropriate because it locks things in yeah. place yeah and so so uh, so definitely, I believe that in order for the sustainability of, of, of the relationship, it, it, that should uh, come in the form of a covering from a village type setting mm -hmm. that is uh, about the fortification and the building and strengthening of that union. Yes. So, uh, so that's what I, I deem very necessary that you have oh, spoke on your side. Agreed. Um, and, and, you know, I just believe that, yeah, it all comes down to, uh, for me, the connection that you're making within the relationship. That, mm -hmm. that connection is so important because uh, the Bible talks about how uh, the company that you keep, mm -hmm. it influences you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so definitely you don't want to be connected to the wrong thing. And I think that's how we can character, I guess, cross character develop okay. within the confines of a relationship because you may be lazy and uh -huh. I'm not. Gotcha. But after being with you for so long, I get lazy. Yeah, yeah. And you may get some pep in yourself. Gotcha. That energy is transferred, and 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 now I've kind of gone down. You've kind of come up, mm -hmm. and so character can development can be negative or positive within the confines of the relationship. But it depends on, for me, who you're connected to gotcha. and what you're connected to Absolutely. that can make that influence. So you just have to be careful of those connections. All right. Amen. So guys, it's time for the takeaway. Portion. I hope you've enjoyed listening thus far. Amen. Uh, I've enjoyed having Dr. Forney in, and for me, it has been a wonderful learning experience, a wonderful growing experience. The takeaway portion is uh, where it is. We just give you some action items, some things that you can do, some things you can apply within your next seven days. For me, um, my my takeaway and my commission to all of you mm -hmm. would be. Uh, to take some time to look up some disc assessments, some aptitude tests, those type of things. Sit down at the table with your family. Uh, get those things in. You know, everybody got an electronic. You can yeah. do it over your phone. Yeah. And have a conversation about that. Uh, learn because a lot. Oftentimes, again, we talked about that frame of reference. Oftentimes, we just given what we've received. Yes. And uh, it's not effective. So when it comes to your children, learning the way they best receive and receive communication yes. would be a great thing for parents to do and the vi and vice versa because even though everybody's coming from the loins right yeah that don't mean we're all the same my we're Lord. all individual people and so I, that would be my biggest takeaway go ahead and do those type of things to learn how to best effectively communicate with each other and discuss it it could be fun uh, you may find out that one of your 
uh, uh, children is is more of a critical thinker than an analytical thinker. You know, yeah. and, and 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 so just something to talk about, something to do and and discuss. Anything that you would have for for families. Yeah, I, w- I would say um, be intentional about. Uh, the joy that you're going to have. Uh, don't let anything within the household, because of course we're we're now in close quarters mm-hmm. uh, in this hour when we're we're in this recording. But 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 <coughs> but be intentional, because uh, uh, we, we God's word tells us that our strength is in our joy in Him. So mm-hmm. the joy of the Lord is our strength. And so I leave those words to be intentional about the joy that you have, the good times that you're spending with family, and you're not going to let all of the negatives uh, overshadow the good times. And so highlight the the good, the, the just, the righteous, uh, the things that are praiseworthy, and, and celebrate each other. Uh, and, I, and you'll find that in that way you'll give each other the value that each other deserves which enhances your love factor Mm -hmm. so bless god uh in that in that yeah absolutely and just uh one last thing i think that um definitely upon having these conversations you may discover that there's some healing that might need to take place Uh, and 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 we don't want to ever run away from healing opportunities i know that we're taught that especially in the african-american community i know many of you are listening but um it definitely is something that we're taught to shy away from is healing and that can come in the form of counseling things like that so definitely upon having these conversations make sure that if there's healing that needs to p- take place it's not ignored um, My Lord. another tabletop conversation I believe that you all can have uh, and is a takeaway for you to have with your families with your significant other with your loved one is uh, discuss what 2020 has done uh, discuss what 2020 has done for you all as individuals, for you as a family, a collective body, and make goals and create new opportunities that you will look forward to in t- 2021. Uh, for instance, if there's, um, if you've not sat down at the table together and ate dinner all year long, being in the house all year long, yes. let's make that a goal and yeah. let's say, oh, well, we here, we already with each other. Why don't we just start eating My at the table? Lord dinner instead you know and those are the type of things uh, that's just really the concept of what this show is based off of is getting to the table amen and coming together amen and so uh do that how you please but definitely conversation is always a great reason uh to get to the table so i just want to take some time and thank dr forney bless you. um bless you. and any any social media platforms any ways that people can reach you yeah uh we we do a teaching uh on 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 uh, Facebook Live mm-hmm. uh, on Thursday night seven o'clock. That's more of a teaching setting. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, on on um, what is it? <coughs> LOC Church mm-hmm. or Lifestyle of Christ Ministries. Uh, you can join us on Facebook on those two um, uh, pages. Uh, eight. 8 a.m. Sunday morning, we're doing our praise and worship service. It's also live streamed. So, so those of you who have time and, and are interested in, in the word that flows from our ministries, we're Lifestyle of Christ Ministries, uh, and, and you can reach us on those platforms, uh, social media, uh, YouTube, Instagram, those sorts of things. All right. All right. And now uh, you guys know where you can reach me. Um, Lewis underscore Davion 21 on Instagram, Facebook Davion Lewis, also the uh, Counselor's Kitchen Facebook page as well. And this will also be uploaded to YouTube at the Counselor's Kitchen. As let, well. me, let me make mention of, uh-huh. of our of Bible, Bible College yeah. as well. Uh, Family Life Bible Institute is our education component in our church. Uh, we are uh, accredited up through the doctoral degree. If you have a, a desire uh, for, for further instruction, for further learning, for deeper understanding, uh, give us a call, 281-317-7274. Uh, get registered for the Bible College, Family Life Bible Institute. And, 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 and we, we'd love to have you to see your growth uh, as you invest in the gift God uh, placed in you. All right, so that's it for this podcast and this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed listening. And I hope you got a takeaway from it. Amen. Something you can apply. And uh, come back next week. We're going to be talking to our men. Yeah. Uh, the topic and discussion will be about men, then women, and then we'll talk to the children and uh, further it on. All right. So I love y'all. Y'all be blessed and have a wonderful day. <laughs>